Well, hello, my friends. This is Kevin, the Homemaker Husband. Thank you for choosing to spend a few moments with me. Um, started this video, I had to go to the grocery store this morning, and I've done that. It's now pushing well past lunchtime. It's almost one o'clock, and that throws a kink into some of the plans we had for our meals and whatnot, but we will overcome. Um, it's been an adventurous week, and I'll tell you about some of that a little later on. But for right now, I want to show you, I got some ice cream products. We had really, really hot weather at the end of the week. It was 36 degrees, and my truck even showed 37 for just a couple of minutes in a certain area. It always seems to be a hot area. And then it dropped back down to 36. Now, 36 translates to um, 90 five degrees, 96 degrees, I think is about the actual uh, measurement and 90 or 37 is like 98 something or 97.9. So it's getting pretty warm, plunged us right into it. And now today I think it's like, well, it feels like two degrees, which is not much about freezing, obviously it isn't, but that's what it feels like. Actual temperature of about six or seven degrees Celsius. That being said, Michelle, Took a little hankering for some ice cream, so I have stocked up with some ice cream products that I'm going to put right back in the freezer here just momentarily. She wanted some of these. They are awfully good. So I got a package of them. I got a package of these. Michelle thought I might like the raspberry, and I probably would like that. I probably will. These as well. One package of these. They will be awfully good. And then the cheap stuff, these ice cream sandwiches. I could tell you a funny story about my older brother, but I've let the cat out of the bag. Anyway, he ate a lot of them one time when we were kids, a lot of them, but he didn't get sick or anything. So I guess the joys of being a kid, you can handle a lot of calories and a lot of sugar once in a while. So I'm gonna throw them in the freezer. Oh, and because Michelle is lactose intolerant, and we're almost out of these. I picked up another package of these. Now, they are the like the generic brand and they're about 50 cents a pill. So anyway, we don't smoke. I'll be back. There's a couple of the items here I picked up that were just sale items. Most of what we picked up are things that we need. The vast majority actually, things that we're up against. And I'll tell you, as you know, we are streamlining our apartment and changing up our storage a bit. So in order to do that, we actually have to let our pantry shelf get down a little bit. I mean, I could pile it all up in the corner somewhere, but that's what we're trying to avoid. So we're wanting to neaten things up. So we're actually, I mean, we've been eating out of the pantry, replacing some stuff, but for the most part, just drawing it down a bit using up the older products and we will replenish after I get this pantry room sorted out. That's going to be another video and I'm hoping that I can get it started and finished this weekend. I've got lots to do, but I always do. You get tired of hearing it, I'm sure. But um, that is kind of what we're up to. Our bathroom, we've got the storage, the cabinets that Michelle wanted, and I love them. They're, and I'm gonna show you them in this video, I think, if it doesn't get too long. And that's just one part of what we're doing. So, busy, busy as always. There's a reason we're doing our pantry store the way we're doing it. And I'm gonna to talk to you about that as I show you in there so that's a separate video but big things are happening and I don't mean to make it sound too traumatic things are happening that warrant a little change in our prep so stay tuned and I'll show you that for right now I'm going to turn this around and show you what I got and let me tell you there was a lot of items that I took note of the price today at Walmart that's where I went obviously Maybe I said that, but uh, prices are spiking dramatically. So here's what I think we need to do. Store as much stuff that'll last 
the longest possible amount of time. Canned goods can go far beyond the date that's on the can. We know that. Um, anything that will last, last and last and last, that's the place where you want to put your money, I think. If there are products you're buying that you can't use up for whatever reason, I mean, you know your family or your situation, you know how much you use things. If you can't use it up within a reasonable amount of time beyond the expiration, if it's those sh shorter term things, then just get what you can use up. Does that make any sense? Probably doesn't. But anyway, be very careful. Things are expensive and we can't afford to waste a thing. So you don't hear, need to hear me talk anymore about that, but I'll show you what we got here. And a warning, I've already showed the ice cream. There's some junk maybe. Okay, for myself, I got some of these and I realize it's pure decadence. They're too much money, but I really, I'm just wanting to stay away from the real sugary junk. And I am, so I got them. They're a treat, don't hate me. <laughs> I got two of these for water. I don't always like to drink just plain water. I do, especially when it gets warmer. But, hey, I grew up with Kool-Aid, right? I got another package of these coffee filters. Now, we'll put the price up there or somewhat north of $3. But, I buy them twice a year. There's 250 in there, so realistically, I only need to buy one about every eight or nine months. So, not even two a year, right? The Maxwell House coffee that I drink is back on, or it's on a big rollback for $8.97, which is what we paid for it for years. But they've jacked the price up, so I got two cans while I was there. Can of English muffins, a can, a bag of English muffins here. Uh, we make use these to make a breakfast sandwich, and uh, very, very good. Michelle loves them. I, I like it. It doesn't take me very long to make them in the morning before I go to work, but this is what we use, so maybe I'll show you one sometime. Picked up another loaf of whole wheat bread. Um, yeah, just getting expensive. It is, everything. Eggs, two dozen eggs, as I have told you a million times, we eat a lot of eggs, so I got a couple more dozen there. Um, a package of cheese slices which I use in our breakfast sandwich, right? Yeah, we'll put the price up, expensive. This, my sweeteners, uh, there is the French and the English. 397, I believe, and that's what they've been for a long time. As long as I've been using them, I think that's what they are, but just now we'll see a big spike. Uh, another tub of the margarine that we use. These are the beans that we prefer, right? So I got four cans of them. We do not have any of these beans at all right now. So I got four cans in there once again for our French speaking friends and the English ones down there, I guess. We'll hold it this way. That's what we use in our beef and bean burritos. We made some last weekend and used up the last of our beans. Sliced mushrooms, cans of them. Type of thing that maybe sometime I should get a case of. I got two bags of barbecue chips. These are $1.48 now. They were a dollar or 97 cents for a long time and they just jumped right up to $1.47. But hey, they're not the best thing for you anyway. I could do without them. And if they get much more expensive, well, I will do without them needed a bottle of stain remover. Now I'll tell you, this right here was about four and a half dollars. We will put that price up and it's 650 milliliters. And I'm not sure what that would work out into ounces, but there's a thousand milliliters in one liter. And like I said, about four and a half dollars. And they have a refill jug there, which is an American gallon, 3.8 liters, 3.78 or 3.89. I can never remember. But anyway, it's $10. So that's definitely the way to go. 
to get the refill the next time. I got uh, two bags of the boys' treats there, the 25 count. They're uh, two for, well, they're 9.50 each anyway, yeah. Two for 19. And then the 40 count bag is 18, so this is the way to go. Picked up another box of the cat's litter. I got two cases of water, two cases of my pop, and one of Michelle's. Now you'll notice this is not the usual package that we get, but they did not have that. And I'm told the difference between diet pop and zero pop or zero soda is the name, right? It's one of those. The younger generation doesn't like the term diet, so they went go with zero. Anyway, that's the difference. That is what we got here. And I'm gonna say this, in the interest of full disclosure, we got a few items that are sort of not what you'd show in video. Do I need to elaborate? So when we tell you the price of the bill, just know that there was a few items that you're not seeing here. Capiche? I guess that's as far as we need to go. Everybody has those items that you're not gonna wave around, right? So yes, maybe I can deduct them off the price and we'll just show you what this these items cost. Anyway, that is the grocery haul. And if this doesn't get too, too long, I will show you the bathroom in this video. If not, it's coming up in the next one. Well, okay, my friends, I've showed you our Saturday grocery haul. Now I'm gonna take, and it will literally probably take a minute, a minute and a half, and I'm gonna show you what we consider to be the improvements we have made in the bathroom. Now, as I told you, everything is about practicality, serving its purpose, and storage. And obviously what we need more of in the washroom is storage. And I'm gonna be completely candid. We don't even have those shelves full yet. And I'm not sure that we will completely have them full because it is the washroom. But there might be some things that we can store and we'll just go from there. What we ended up with is three, actually four pieces when you count them in total. And there's more storage for the bathroom things than what we need, which is okay because I guess we could put cleaning supplies and whatnot in there without difficulty. So I'm going to uh, grab the camera and take you in there. So I want to say this too, and I'm not saying this because I want anybody, uh, you'll understand. My home, our home, I never get it as clean as what I want it to be. I just, it always comes down to a matter of time and maybe even skill. So if you see something that doesn't impress you, don't be too hard on me. Let's go. Okay, the first thing I will show you is this little shelf. And you see how it is. We had that round thing in the corner. I don't know whether you can remember. It was, I think, four tier. But none of this tall stuff could go on it, right? Nothing really, I don't even think this could go on there, but maybe. But at any rate, there's more stuff on this shelf than we had on the round one. And it just looks neater now. There, I wiped everything off. I actually put this in here last week. Most of the stuff hasn't been touched, but I did dust everything when I transferred it over to the shelf. So that's kind of a neat little rig. I think it looks nicer and it actually takes up less space if that's possible. Maybe the actual footprint it doesn't, but there's certainly more stuff on it for the size of it, right? So there was that. Now I'm gonna swing over here. And yes, I forgot to fold that before I... So this piece is new. And as you can see, there's lots of shelf space left on it. 
I have a few towels. This is the second piece. I have a few towels that are in the wash right now. So this could fill up with as many towels as you wanted. Up there is Michelle's hair dryer. The small hand towels and her hair towel will go there. There's only actually two of these. And one of them is in for the wash. Her makeup bag goes there, but she said, for, asked me to remove the makeup bag for the purpose of this video. And then there's this bottom shelf. Now this, I should say, is literally the height of my nose, so it's five feet to the top of this. And as you can see, there's all kinds of shelf space. Now this bottom is a door, and this is the handle, but it's bathroom stuff in there, right? So I'm just not gonna open the door on that one. And this shelf, as I already showed you, there's all kinds of room, and realistically, we need a bunch of new towels anyway, but lots of storage there. And then, okay, and so now, this is the cabinet that's, like if you're sitting on the toilet, this is right in front of you. It is a beautiful little cabinet. This is where we had that little white end table thing. And it had one open space on the bottom and then a drawer. And then of course the top. On the bottom, I have my jogging pants. Now the reason I keep them in here is if the dog wakes me up in the night and needs to go out or something, rather than rummaging and beating and thrashing around in the dark or having to turn a light on to find something to take him out, to wear while I take him out, I can just come in here, I know where they are, I grab them, put them on, take him out. As you can see, we've got two empty open shelves there right now. And probably I could put a bunch of toilet paper in there. Michelle said she's gonna get some knickknacks, you know, which is perfectly fine, right? And then there's the top shelf. Surface area is nearly double what was on the other one, but it's bigger, right? We had had room to put the garbage can in between there and that other cabinet. I guess that's not where it was, but there was room to put it in there. And here is where we keep Michelle's clothes drying rack, or I say Michelle's, simply because she's the one that, like I dry most of her stuff. I'll put a few shirts and stuff of mine on there. The baseboard heater's under there. And yes, I'm very careful in the winter time when that is on to make sure nothing is anywhere near it, but it really dries the clothes quickly, right? So, and this one here, has a door and in here is more bathroom type supplies. And Michelle's just asked me to cover them and keep them covered at all times, you know, when you have somebody come over, you know what some people are like. I don't think we'll ever have anybody in here that would do that, but that is the new items for the bathroom. And all of them are bamboo, which is really a grass, not a wood. And it should be very, very good in a moisture rich environment, which the washroom tends to be, right? So should last well. They're light. I assembled all of these. They were pretty darn easy to assemble. And uh, I like doing that stuff. So it's a win-win, right? But anyway, and we now have a large, a lot more storage than what we had before. And as I said, I could put some cleaning stuff probably down on that one I just showed you. Whatever. But lots of storage here now. Makes the bathroom much more efficient for us. So that's that. Well, okay, everyone. That was the uh, tour of our tiny little bathroom. As you can see now, we've got oodles and oodles of storage. And enough storage that I'm not even sure what's gonna go in all of them spaces yet, but eventually they will be taken up with practical things, I'm sure. So once again, if you've watched, know that I appreciate each and every one of you, and I'm extremely grateful that you take the time to watch and interact. So like, share, make sure you're subscribed, please, and uh, we'll see you again in another video very soon. So this is Kevin, the homemaker husband, saying God bless and bye for now.